Okay. Now, uh, now let us uh, look at the different uh, organization in an oil company, like how the oil company uh, will have its own uh, teams, what are all the different uh, teams that will be responsible for doing all these activities. Okay. I mean, it's, it's more of a kind of enterprise structure. So the SAP wise enterprise structure, we will discuss it in the, in the next session. Okay. But for now, let us understand how uh, the supply chain that means uh, we have just discussed about the oil supply chain, right? So when we talk about in reality in an oil and gas company How is it named or what are the different departments that we will have to uh, we will have it in the company is what we will discuss now Okay, so when we talk about supply chain management, so it all depends upon how the companies want to name it Okay in some oil and gas company. They just name it as a supply Okay, in some companies they call it as refining and supply in some companies. They call it as Supply and distribution. Okay in some company. They call it as sales supply and distribution and in some companies They call it as refining and marketing. So it all depends upon what kind of businesses They do what kind of Organizational structure they are building up in their company it all the, the name of the uh, the name of the team or the name of the directorate we call it sometimes okay that all depends upon what kind of business they are interested in what kind of business process they are doing it okay so for now for our convenience uh, for the uh, course so we, we will consider this supply and distribution as a as the uh, as the directorate or we can we can say that a supply chain management name that we will use Okay, so what does it cover? So again, when what whenever we talk about, we always uh, talk about the oil supply chain only. Now until unless we go to the SAP, okay, you are able to see the oil oil supply chain here, right? The another PowerPoint, you are able to see it. Yes, yes. Okay, so. The, the supply chain management covers crude feedstock semi finished products and finished products Okay, so now this this is the area that we are talking about. So when we are trying to do a Refining activity that means in a refinery if you want to refine crude oil Okay, so obviously it all depends upon the company that it is so some companies are are horizontally they have their own operation. That means some companies uh, like Saudi Aramco or Adnoc or Shell, BP. So these all big companies, some big companies have their own companies like e e Enoch. Uh, so some companies, they have their own onshore company. They have their own offshore company. They have their own refining company. They have their own logistics companies. They have their own drilling companies. Okay, they have their own terminals as well. So they have their own filling stations as well. So they are called as end-to-end -end or we call them as a conglomerate Okay, so some companies like uh, BPCL HPCL IOCL in India. They are all more of the uh, downstream midstream and downstream companies that means They are not totally into the upstream production. That means they do not have drilling rigs and all okay uh, though there are some joint ventures which they have entered into some other com countries outside India, okay, but uh, Majority stake they have only in the refineries. They have refineries like IPC, IOCL, BPCL and HOCL. So what they do when they construct or when they have to run a refinery, obviously what they have to do, they'll have to make sure the crude is available for them, okay, in order to do the refining. So if they have to do the crude, if they have to check the crude availability, Obviously what they'll have to do they'll have to do uh, They'll have to buy the crude from these upstream companies again. What are the upstream companies in India in India upstream? Can there are two Indian companies? Uh, two two government companies which are ONGC and oil India and there is another private company called as Kane energy Okay, and if we talk about gas basins uh, KG basin, okay, that is uh, BP and Reliance. So they both are uh, on the uh, upstream side Okay, so whenever the refinery is buying the product, they have to buy the crude or there are some kinds of feedstock. It's not only crude that they mix. Okay, they generally mix two or uh, more types of crudes 
okay it is called as blending because the kind of by products they get depends upon what kinds of mix they use what is the crude oil mix like when you, when you go to a refinery when you work uh, uh, onto the refinery side you will come to know okay so they call it as a crude oil mix that means if they want to get the the best composition of the different uh, different by products i think we have discussed in the demo right so it all depends upon what what kind of crude it is so apart from that there they will also be mixing some other types of crude which is called as a crude oil mix so there will be condensate which will be uh, mixed along with uh, crude so these uh, uh, these different crudes are mixed and sent to the uh, refinery as a feed feed okay so the crude feed stock okay so they the supply sales supply and distribution or supply and distribution what they do is they make sure the crude is available for the refinery the feed stock is available for the refinery okay and once these are ready okay so once the refinery works once the by products are formed i mean uh, once once they heat up the crude oil the crude oil will get uh, heated and then depending upon the temperatures at different levels it gets converted into different by products like the different by products are lpg okay petrol diesel naphtha uh, kerosene jet fuel bitumen okay gas oil fuel oil so there are different by products depending upon the kind of crude we get the different by products so what so what are the by products they would require that again depends upon what kind of crude they give as a feed so in order to make sure that is available so they make sure the different crudes are available the different feed stocks are, are available once the refining process is done so there will be different semi finished products which they use it for blending which they use it for uh, some other purposes okay and once all the products are formed they are called as finished products so finished products are nothing but again uh, lpg okay like whatever i have just told you jet a1 uh, jet jet uh, fuel okay and uh, there is called as a jp8 reformate so there are different by products which will be formed after the refining process so what these people do they make sure the crude is available once the by products are formed they make sure the products are delivered to the different commercial customers so how do they make sure obviously there will be some team who will have to handle this uh, different modes of transport so obviously there should be some team who should be planning this correct they should be executing this there should be some team who will be loading the product from the terminal to the ship there will be some team who should be loading the product from terminal to the pipeline or uh, there, there should be some people who will be responsible for moving the product okay similarly for rail car loading there should be somebody and again when it reaches the terminal there should be some people who will be responsible for discharging the product similarly at the pipeline they should make sure they receive the product into the terminal similarly if it is a ship obviously you load the product from the refinery and then you receive it in the terminal through through the ports berthing operations so like this there are different teams who will be involved and all those teams will be under this supply and distribution team clear till now or any questions yeah so i have some questions yes please i Hello. mean uh, till yeah jagan yeah. 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 on this slide yeah in this slide you mentioned uh, there are different ongc oil india yeah. how they are different from reliance and the kg like uh, maybe chain india energy or reliance whoever I, who is having kg base in nap mm. so mm. how these two are different so uh, reliance is again a private company and reliance and bp are uh, the kg base in is morely the gas so you have the gas base in there Okay. that means and both are uh, drilling companies right both are uh, like no no not drilling it they are they are uh, they, they are upstream companies upstream company. exploration Sorry. companies upstream. yeah exploration both are exploration but ongc Correct. into crude uh, mainly into oil and uh, maybe no ongc both. also has uh, some gas basin yeah. 
okay but uh, these two are equal in, comes into the same level they are into correct uh, downstream uh, upstream company upstream upstream yes so, okay yeah that is why just i was confusing in the how these are different when you say no no they are not different they are all upstream companies only but uh, uh, ongc oil india they more uh, can others go on mute please if uh, they are not talking so ONGC and Oil India, they are upstream companies, okay? Mm -hmm. So they, they have their uh, operations or they have their fields, uh, wells in, in uh, the northern India, okay? Even in on the uh, uh, offshore also, like uh, near the Mumbai. Mumbai also we have a basin, right? Not basin, it's a, the crude oil wells are there on the offshore. Mm -hmm. So, so they uh, they basically. have they are upstream companies. Basically, they can be having their wells in uh, either onshore or offshore. Okay, uh, KG Basin is always uh, offshore, right? KG is offshore and gas. Uh, 